People see this dude probably think he's, I don't know, he's all tatted up, got face tats and shit. <laughs> see, like, he's a scary dude, but he's just, like, fucking a sweet dude, you know? Yeah. A nice-ass guy. Super yeah. chill. I thought he was, like, a, like a, a vegan devil worshiper before I met him. But yeah, literally, he's... That's addicted to drugs, but... Yeah, a drug addict, vegan things. devil worshiper. And I'm he's a cool guy, man. linked up with him uh, through the internet really I just loved his music and I was like yo come to my house and uh, let's let's work so he came to my house and we ended up not working at all we just ended up hanging out for like a week and then yeah. we got in the studio and we're like fuck it let's let's do a song bullets fly legs buckle bodies pile to the sky thousand rounds will lay you down we got enough to go around you fuck with me yeah yeah, I pull up and make it a scene. Yeah, yeah, I pull up and bust out the beam. If a man might have a gun with a thousand rounds and he was to let off a thousand rounds, I can guarantee that bodies will pile up to the sky. <laughs> yeah. Throw another one up in the grave, I don't need an AK, but a double-sided blade in the main vein. Watching you look like a broken pipe, I'm a self-spoken type, but when I channel the archetype, I cannot speak, only dig deep into abysmal depression, I find what I can, and I see in my feet for the secrets of alchemy, calculate everything, reincarnate Crowley. Alistair Crowley was an um, early 1900s uh, occultist author. It was, I mean, it's, it's kind of like any other religion, I guess, it's not meant to be taken, like, literally, or, I mean, you know, it's kind of wicked stuff, I guess, but uh, he was kind of good at, like, predicting uh, the future of the world and how we're all going to be dependent on technology and shit like that and I was kind of always drawn in for that reason I guess. Fuck the fame, fuck the drugs, I'm on cloud nine, I meditate, fuck LeVay, you still fake the vine. Anton LeVay, uh, he was this dude in the 60s who kind of just, he started like the Church of Satan just to be like edgy and anti-Christian I think. And that, try to get money. And like get money yeah and I think and it nowadays has this whole movement of kids who like you know, buy these books and like take pictures with them online and stuff yeah. like that. And there's actually... a phrase they say: the quickest way to become a billionaire is to create a religion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just think that everything he did is for the wrong reasons, and he's not actually didn't actually want to like help anybody or anything like that. I bring you back to life to shoot you in your fucking face. The black mage flipped the page while I burned sage. So many people all around me, yet I feel so alone. I'm a dead man walking zombies singing my song. I feel like that's another bar about like anxiety and depression like that, because, you know, there's just like, it doesn't matter who's around you. If you have problems with yourself, then the only person that can fix that is you. So I like that bar. I like that bar. I feel like people can relate to that. You want that fuck you music, go blow your brains out to it. Florida's finest, you find us inside that broke down hoopty. Florida rap is like, we're, it's so it's so sick right now. I mean, we got X, we got Slump God, we got, Everyone's uh, killing it. I mean, we got me, Ghost, Nick. I mean, Smoke the list goes on, pump. Smoke Perp, Pump, and Kodak, we got I mean, Denzel Curry. Literally know, everyone from Florida brother, Denzel it. Curry, like Young Simi, you know. I mean, the list goes on. We had Raider Clan, you know, we had like, all this stuff and it Florida's been around for for a while, you know. Shit, and we're we're you know, we're inspired by like Trick Daddy. You know, he's like the real Florida legend, Trick Daddy and uh, yeah. Iceberg, Trina, shit like that. Yeah, that's what And even party Florida shit rap. like two live crew and shit, like it's like yeah, even though it's like party stuff, they were yeah. like rapping fast. Uncle Luke, too. And and Uncle shit Luke like that. Yeah. Like we got like those uh sticking and juking mu music. That's not that's the nine five four movement that a lot of people are not uh familiar with. But uh yeah, it's real, it's real Florida music, it's real tight. People in front of my face, but they really want to bust a hole in my back. I've been on go for a minute, but they really want to move me off of my tracks. Yeah, I got a bitch, but I still got a thousand nasty hoes on my sack. Underground, underdog, a hundred racks flexing, but still roam with the rats. 